Good morning. Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, on this Thursday, the 18th of April, 2024. My name is Letty Anderson, and I will be officiating. Today, we are commemorating Sister Juana Inez de la Cruz, or Sister Joan Agnes of the Cross. She was a writer, philosopher, composer, poet of the Baroque school, and Haremite nun of New Spain or Mexico. Her outspoken opinions granted her lifelong names, such as the Tenth Muse, the Phoenix of America, the Mexican Phoenix, for she was seen as a flame that rose from the ashes of religious authoritarianism. She lived during Mexico's colonial period, making her a contributor both to Spanish literature as well as the broader literature of the Spanish Golden Age. She began her studies at a young age. She was fluent in Latin, and she educated herself in her own library, which was mostly inherited from her grandfather. So she wrote poetry and prose, and she um, was criticized because of her misogyny and hypocrisy of men that led to her condemnation by the Bishop of Puebla. And in 1694, she was forced to sell her collection of books and focus on charity towards the poor. She died the next year at 47, having caught the plague while treating her fellow nuns. So she was somewhat of a force, I think, to be reckoned with. So good morning, Ian. Good morning, Debbie, Joe, Pam, and Wendy. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. <laughs> Let us say together, Christ our Passover. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all shall be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Let us say together part one of Psalm 37. Do not fret yourself because of evildoers. Do not be jealous of those who do wrong. For they shall soon wither like the grass, and like the green grass fade away. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on its riches. Take delight in the Lord, and he shall give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord and put your trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. 
He will make your righteousness as clear as the light and your just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and patiently wait for him. Do not let yourself over the, do not fret yourself over the one who prospers, the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger, leave rage alone. Do not fret yourself, it leads only to evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those who have who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. In a little while the wicked shall be no more. You shall search out their place, but they will not be there. But the lowly shall possess the land. They will delight in abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord laughs at the wicked because he sees that their day will come. The wicked draw their sword and bend their bow to strike down the poor and needy to slaughter those who are upright in their ways. Their sword shall go through their own heart and their bow shall be broken. The little that the righteous has is better than the great riches of the wicked. For the power of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson this morning is from the book of Exodus. Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in heaven above or that is on the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or worship them for I am the Lord, your God. I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God, punishing children for the iniquity of parents to the third and fourth generation of those who respect, who reject me, but showing steadfast love to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath to the Lord your God. You shall not do any work, you, your son or your daughter, your male or female slave, your livestock, or the alien resident in your towns. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, but rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and consecrated it. Honor your father and your mother so that your days may be long in the land that your Lord God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or male or female slave or ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. When all the people witness the thunder and lightning, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking, they were afraid and trembled and stood at a distance and said to Moses, you speak to us and we will listen, but do not let God speak to us or we will die. Moses said to the people, do not be afraid for God has come only to test you and to put the fear of him upon you so that you do not sin. Then the people stood at a distance while Moses drew near to the thick darkness where God was. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> the 
Good morning, Joan. Thank you for joining us this morning. Let us say together the song of Moses. I will sing to the Lord for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God and I will praise him. The God of my people and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you fed the, led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading this morning is from the Gospel of Matthew. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, again it is written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, all these I will give you, if you will fall down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him, and suddenly angels came and waited on him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Let us say together, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit 
and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffragists B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. The collect appointed for this morning is the collect for the third Sunday of Easter. O oh God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A collect to commemorate Juana Inez de la Cruz, monastic and theologian, 1695. Almighty God, source of all knowledge, we give you thanks for the witness of your servant Juana Inez de la Cruz in her fierce passion for learning and creativity. Teach us to be faithful stewards of our minds and hearts so that following her example, we may forever proclaim the riches of your unending love in Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. A collect for the renewal of life. O oh God, the King eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for guidance. O God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light rises up in darkness for the godly, Grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask you what that ask what you would have us do, that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices, and that in your light we may see light, and in your straight path may not stumble. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Down and Dromore in Ireland, the Right Reverend David Maclay Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our Companion Diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of Toliara, Madagascar, the Right Reverend Dr. Samatiana Johnson, Rosethinder Lambeau, Bishop. A prayer for mission. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth 
and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit among all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Bob and Pam, Marilyn, Peter, Jim and Jerry, Karen and Jessica and family, Charles and Kathy, Donna and Elizabeth. We pray also for our serve ministries, remembering especially the prayer shawl ministry, that warm blankets may be made available to those in need of physical and spiritual warmth, and nursing home hospital visitors, that members of Good Shepherd, ailing due to old age or circumstance, <coughs> may experience God's love through a familiar face. <coughs> A prayer for the parish. Almighty and ever living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family, strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. <laughs> Ian asks us to continue to pray for the family of Liz Barden, particularly O'Neill, Julie, and Beth, as they mourn her passing yesterday. Yes, all of the Bonesack and Barden families. And I would also like to ask your prayers for our friend Bob, who is in the hospital and trying to figure out his diagnosis with his doctors. Um, he and his wife, Beth, need our prayers. Also, um, Ian ask our prayers for the Good Shepherd's youth and their families as they make arrangements to attend Canuga Youth Week in June. So this is a big deal for our kids to go to Canuga and have more or less a spiritual week with their friends and meeting new people. So Canuga is a great place to do that in North Carolina. Pam asked prayers for peace in our world. Thank you, Pam. Yes, we definitely need peace. And Wendy asks, says we're praying. We're praying for Julie and her family. And Joan, you're in our prayers for your surgery tomorrow. We love you. We do. And hopefully, I'm sure everything will go just fine with your surgery tomorrow, Joan. We'll definitely be praying for you. And Debbie asks for prayers for our stepsister, Norma, who is fainting at odd times, seeing a cardiologist and a neurologist. And Ian asks for thanks, says thanksgiving for all donors and partners in support of Vondo Haiti. So it's not a good time in Haiti right now. They're having a, a lot of strife. Let us continue with a general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. 
for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and join us again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So we're here every weekday morning from Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Thank you again and have a wonderful day.